Okay, welcome to Cry Daddy Farm. Let me get this camera up here. Okay, in uh, the other roll your pot video, uh, showed you how to do. You roll the the newsprint around it and stuff it in to make a pot. Um, <clears throat> I had several people ask me about the. Uh, you know, I talked about um, doing the folding one. How to do a folding one, and so had several people ask me about that. How do you do it if you want to do a fold rather than you want to do a roll? So <clears throat> here's what you do: you get you some newsprint, newspaper, quick sheet, uh, green sheet, thrift nickel, whatever paper you've got. And what you want to do is just start off, cut it. I know you can tear this, but uh, I found, because I've done several of these to uh, practice see which would be the best way to do it, that uh, actually taking a pair of scissors and cutting it is better. It makes it neater. So, anyway, so now you have just a single sheet, and what you want to do is fold it up and try to get your seams. Lined up, and no, I'm not going to go all the way to Dallas to go buy a stupid car. I got more cars now than I know what to do with anyway. So anyway, you fold it, get a good seam, and get it started off square, fairly square. And once you have that, then you want to come and you want to fold it over again. Okay, and make a good seam. Okay, then you want to take and fold it again. All right, so we clear. You cut, then you fold, then you fold, then you fold again to get here. Okay. Now, unfold it one time back to here, and you've got a seam running down the middle of the page. And what you want to do is down here you want to put your finger on that seam and not tear it, but fold it rather on the seam. Okay. Just like you're making a paper airplane. Then you want to take and fold the other side. Okay. Okay, so now you have pretty much a straight line across there and you fold it. So then you want to come and I found that it makes it a lot easier for the rest of it if you fold it back on top of itself. Okay, so now you have airplane. Shh, just picking. <coughs> then unfold it one time, and then leave the side folded, and then pull this one back. And what you want to do is take and put your finger down between the pages there. Find the middle. Okay, make sure you this crease right here in the middle stays there and stick your hand down the side of here and then just fold this over onto that crease there and you're going to line this crease up along here okay so your crease is here okay and then just crease that and then take and put your finger back here to hold that page in place fold it back over and then you're going to do the same thing over here okay just hold your finger down here, put your hand inside, hold this up here like this. Da -da -da -da. And take your time with this, just line it all up, keep all your seams lined up. It's not that hard, it's not a big deal, just take your time with it, okay? Then unfold that back over to here, okay? Now, if you fold it kind of goofy, it might end up looking like this. And you see you got this open seam here. You don't want that open seam. So all you have to do is just fold it over. You want it flat like that, okay? Just flat. Doesn't matter which side. But then, back on the seam, you want to take one half of this 
There's going to be two halves. I'm going to fold it to the middle. Okay, and then fold it over in half again, again to that middle seam. Okay, see? Like that. Okay. Then take the other side, again half of it, bring it to the middle seam, crease, again fold it, and then crease. Okay, see if you can see that, see? Then just flip it over and do the same thing again to the middle seam and to the middle seam. And again to the middle seam. Okay. And then just flatten all that out, make sure you got good seams. Now, this is what you should kind of be looking at, okay? So if you just in your hand like this, just turn it over, you're gonna have two pieces here. And if you look down at the top part, the bottom it should be uh, solid, then you should have a gap up here. Stick your finger down through there, and on that line right there, just fold it over. Okay, just like that. Turn it over, and then fold the other half down. Okay, and, and then you just fold it over, see? And then ta-da, you have a pipe. And then you can take and make sure you got a seam there to make it square. Now these little flaps here, um, you can either leave loose or you can staple them down or use tape. I don't recommend tape, but staples, I mean, they're going to break down their biodegrade eventually. Um, and if you've got alkaline soil like I do, uh, the rust is going to add acid to the soil, so anyway, there you go. Well, I hope uh, y'all can see that. Okay. Okay, so there you go. There's a pot. Uh, another thing with the niece print, be careful of the colored ink because some of the colored ink contains heavy metals. Um, you can check with the company that prints it and find out if it's soy based or if it actually uses heavy metals. You don't want the heavy metals in your in your ground. The soy based stuff's good, not a big deal. Uh, you can plant it. Now when you go to plant these pots, <clears throat> let's say that your soil is going to come to this level here. Okay. Whenever you plant this in the ground, you do not want this newsprint to stick above the ground because what will happen is this is down in the ground, this is the level of the ground. The water that's in here that's down in the ground will actually wick like a candle the water up out of the soil and dry all this out. So when you go to plant it, just tear the corners here on all four corners or if you've got the round pots, just tear it in a few places and make sure you fold that down um, when you go to plant that to make sure that the uh, none of the newspaper newsprint is sticking up out of the ground okay so there you have it that's you've got the round pot roll pot and now you've got the origami fold up pot um, you can choose which one you want to use okay so here we go I'll talk to you guys later now let's see if I can get this camera down and get it turned off without breaking something